Hey, 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 everybody. I hope you are having a um, phenomenal morning. Um, I am excited as usual to be on with you this morning. Hey, Prophet Zolisha, I'm so looking forward to partnering with you soon. I hope all is well. Hey, y'all, as y'all come in, just let me know where you're signing in from. I want to properly speak to you. I want to properly speak to you. My name is Toyenda Smith, Prophetess Toy, and I am the visionary of of Toyenda Lachey Ministries. And so as a kingdom builder, listen, I teach, I intercede, and I use my prophetic voice so that kingdom citizens can increase their faith, access abundance and prosperity, and live according to biblical principles. Thank you for joining me for this Press and Pray, where on Mondays we press into the word of God and we pray the word through to completion. I want you to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Toyenda Lachey Ministries um, on, on both of those pages. Uh, today, I want to continue this discussion on, hey, y'all, let me know where you're signing in from. I see people joining. But I want to continue our discussion uh, in uh, John 15. This is where um, uh, we were understanding about, hey, Sherry, hey, Coach Sherry, nice to see you this morning. We got to talk. Um I want to, to, to continue this vine and branch discussion where um, Jesus is letting us know that, that he's the true vine. Hey, Dr. Henley, Dr. Henley, you're not counseling this morning. Hey, girl. So I wanted to continue this discussion about the vine and the branch. So let me pray really quick. Father, I bless you. I thank you, God. We lift your name on high. We thank you, Father, for even giving us this opportunity, Father, to even study your word, look at your word, God, and then pray that thing through to completion. Lord, I ask that you would decrease me and that you would increase me in Jesus name. Amen. So uh, last week we talked about uh, John 15, one through two. I didn't really get a chance to tap down into um, this other part of scripture. Hey, hey, uh, Minister Carolyn, thank you so much for joining. I'm going to drop our scripture in. Hold on, John 15. Let me find what I'm looking for. Uh, specifically, this is the part, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask what, oh yes, here we go. I want to look at verse seven. I'm telling you, this thing is blessing me. I'm going to drop that into our chat this morning, but I want to specifically deal with John. Let me type this in John 15, seven, y'all. I'm looking at the NIV version. Okay. Yes. So last week we were on John 15, one through two, but let's look at seven because this thing blesses me completely. It blesses me completely, y'all. So if we look at John 15, seven, he says, if you remain in me, remember he had told us that um, he was going to cut some things away. He said he was going to purge us of some things that were not giving us the ability to, to bear fruit, to multiply, to really take dominion, rule, subdue. Okay. So in seven, he says, if, if you, there's a condition here, people of God. There's a condition here, kingdom citizens, right? Condition in the chat, condition. There's a condition. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, come on. It's two parts to that condition. There's two parts to the condition. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, then you can ask whatever you wish. Come on, what is it, people of God? What is it, kingdom citizens, that you're wishing that God will do? Come on, what is a wish? I got to look up this. I got to look this up. I got to look this up, y'all. Come on. The, the, the dictionary definition of wish is, uh, uh, is, is a feeling or an expression of a strong desire. So God is telling us, if you remain in me, 
Mm -mm. And my words remain in you because see, wait, let me slow down. It's two things there, but let me slow down. My ADHD is catching up to me. So the word wish here means this is a feeling y'all. This is an expression of a strong desire or a strong hope for something. Oh God today. That's not easily attainable. This is something that you want that cannot or probably will not happen. This is this is the Webster. Listen, this Marion or Oxford or somebody. Let me let me drop this in the chat because see, this thing is now beginning to bless me because what God is trying to show us here is that uh, uh, um, let, let me see. This is wish equals this this it what god is trying to show us here people of god is that if you remain in me and my words remain in you you can ask me whatever you wish and we understand from the webster's dictionary is that a wish is a feeling or an expression a strong desire a hope for something that's not easily attainable so what god is saying here prophetically to us is that if you will just maintain your position with me Woo, when I preach this, y'all, it's going to be good. If you will just maintain your position with me, if you will stay in this press with me, even when other people come out the press, even when you see other people doing things that you may want to do, if you will remain, stay put, uh, if you will plant your feet in me and in my words, you can ask me whatever you wish, whatever you wish. Hey, Tammy, whatever you wish. Come on. Come on. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, Melissa. Good morning. He says, if you will remain in me and my words remain in you, you can ask me whatever you wish, whatever that feeling is or, or that expression of a strong desire that that hope that you have built up on the inside of you for something that's not easily attainable. So God is saying here prophetically, he says, listen, I'm going to partner with you. I've already sent you the advocate. I've already sent you the comforter. I'm going to partner with you on this thing, but you must stay with me. You must remain in me even when other people fall out, even when you get ready to get talked out of a space of blessing because it's so big. It's unattainable by yourself. But God says, if you will remain in me, he says, if you will remain in me and my words remain in you, you can ask me whatever you wish. Listen, I haven't even gotten to the to the other parts of this scripture. This this is seven and eight. This is this is John 15, seven and eight. And, and I'm just tapping into seven. I ain't even got to the rest of it. So so the words that he's talking about here that's remaining in you is the word of God. It's it's the words, those prophetic words that you've gotten over the years. It's these are the words, my Bible, the teachings, the things that I've already taught you. You're already in right standing with me. We're not. That's not even a concern for the Lord right now. You're in right standing with him. He says, when I cut away these things, when I prune you, I just need you to stay with me. This is blessing me this morning. He says, I want you to remain and my words remain in you. So we can't get to, listen, Toyenda, you can't get to a space in your life where the pressure is too strong, where you like, okay, God is not with me. He, he, he is, he's not there with me. As he said in his Bible, lo, I will be with you always, even until the end. God, I feel like we're at the end of the road. God, I feel like this is the end. But no, he says, listen, my word is in you. Thy word have you hid in your heart. Woo! This is good to me. So two things here. There's two conditions. If you will remain in me 
and my words remain in you. So regardless, people of God, regardless kingdom citizens of what's going on around you, he wants you to keep that the word on the inside of you, because when the enemy comes, you will be able to resist the prowler. You will be able to withstand the wiles of the enemy. Why? Because God always makes a way of escape. He always makes a way for us to have a level of freedom, but just remain. God says you can ask him whatever you wish. The reason why this is important right now in April 2022 is because God is moving you to things prophetically. Hear me. He's moving you to things that are unattainable by yourself. Mm, Shia. He's moving you to another space, another dimension in him and another space and another dimension in the natural sense so that you can reign, rule, dominate and subdue so that you can multiply like he's asked you to do over in Genesis to be fruitful. Come on. I, the reason why I'm pressing into this, the reason why the Lord has pressed this in my heart. He's got me studying this thing. He says, you can ask me whatever I wish because your wish is something that you can't easily attain by yourself. And so he says, I'm going to help you to do this thing. I'm going to grant this thing to you. You're going to see tangible favor, manifested results in this thing, but you got to remain. You got to stay put. You got to stay in position. You got to stay in my words. You got to keep your word hidden in my heart, regardless of what's going on with these different variants of COVID that's going around, regardless of what it's seemingly to be this space of getting ready for a recession, regardless of this thing. If you remain in me and if my words remain in you, you can still ask me whatever you wish. And guess what the rest of this scripture says? And it will be done for you. I, I want to cry. I feel like I want to cry because I just bless the Lord. I thank you, God, for what you're doing because I remain in you. For what you're doing because your words remain on the inside of me. They are embedded in the fabric of my entire temple and my entire being. I hope y'all with me this morning. Are you with me this morning? Put a one in the chat if you are with me this morning. Come on. God is taking us to another place here in 2022. And April is a serious month. I wish I, wish I could uh, uh, study this thing or share it the way I need to share it. But this is a new year right now. And I'm not well versed in it, so I can't go all the way into it. But this is where heaven is meeting earth. I, I need to study. I, I need to study this thing so that I can share this properly with you. I went to a conference, uh, um, the prophet, the uh, uh, the third annual uh, Carolina prophetic gathering, and this was by my mentor, um, Apostle uh, Apostle uh, Pat uh, 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 Brown, and um, uh, uh, one of the apostles. Apostle Brian, he talked about how this is the new year. This is this is Nissan, is my understanding. I really need to study this thing. Thank you. Thank you, Kira. I need to study this thing. But one part of this new year in this month of April on our Jewish calendar is, is that this is a, 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 a the beginning of what heaven is meeting earth. And so I didn't understand why, God, why are you telling me? you know, to remain in you and to, to, to allow you to cut a hey God, to allow you to cut away the things that are not bearing me fruit and to prune back uh, 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 the things that are bearing fruit. I, I couldn't understand it until I went to the conference. And, and when he talked about this being uh, uh, the year where heaven is, is meeting earth. And so whatever you're speaking out of your mouth, whatever has been spoken now in the heavens, you've already prayed this thing in the spirit. It's time for it to meet the earth. But in order for it to, in order for it to uh, uh, come into place, you got to remain. You got to remain in God. And, and, and his word has to remain in you. Where's our scripture? 
it, because what it says is, and whatever you wish, it, it will be done for you. And, and what's specific about the wishing people of God, I got to study this thing out. What's specific about the wishing study of God, that this is a strong desire that you have for something that's not easy to attain. It, it's something that it, in the natural sense, you'll say, listen, this thing probably, probably just not going to happen. Toy, it's, it's probably not even going to happen that you're going to, to work with that multi-billion dollar company, Toy. It's not going to happen. But, but God says, this is Toy, if you're by yourself, but God says, if you will remain, he says, if you will remain in me, he says, if you will remain in me and if your words will remain in me, he says, you can ask me whatever you wish. And this is important. It's now. Now is the time. Listen, this is going to be a great season, a great year for the kingdom citizens that remain in God and remain and his word remains in you. See, because when the word is in you, you, you are less likely to veer off. You're less likely to stay in a level of a, 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 a sin cycles. You're less likely to spew foolishness out of your mouth that will that can cancel our entire lineage, right? So he says, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask me whatever you wish. We've already defined out a wish. A wish is something that you desire that's not easily attained. He says, and it will be done for you for you so this sounds like you're not really gonna have to do anything but remain in him and, and make sure his word is in you i i hope y'all tracking with me i hope you y'all look like y'all tracking with me i hope you tracking with me this morning this thing is really 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 good to me my god today it's good a uh, uh, prophet Jesus. it's good this thing is really good to me so I want to pray into this. And I'm going to tell you, honey, when I preach this message, it's going to be, I'm shaking up the foundation. You hear me? Verse eight says, this is my father's, this is to my father's glory. So, so the fact of the matter is that if we remain in God and we may remain and the word remains in us, we can ask him whatever we wish and it's going to be done for us. So remember, this comes off of the heels of the Lord pruning and cutting away. This comes off the heels of the Lord taking away from you that thing that you thought was, was making it happen, Right. Listen, let me talk about me. This comes on the heels from, from the Lord uh, saying no to you, that that's not the right relationship for you. No, that's not the right business deal for you. No, that's not the right business partner for you. No, that's not a person that you want to bring into your inner circle. This comes off the heels of the Lord pruning and cutting back so that I can produce even more richer, more tastier fruit. So after he's doing these things, he's saying, listen, I know that hurts. I know that that hurt you. H-U-R-T, no S on the end of that. I know that that hurt you. I know that you moving through this situation is painful. It hurts. But if you remain in me and my word remains inside of you, it's in your system. It's, in, it's running through your blood system. It's running through your circulatory system. It's, it's in your mind. It's in your subconscious and conscious. My word remains in you, regardless of the conditions around you, regardless of who tells you you need to leave the Lord alone because you live in a boring life. He says, you can ask me whatever you wish and it will be done for you. When, when I get into a business space where things are done for me, honey, I get to sit back and relax and say, oh, yes, I like that color. No, no, I want, I want, I need 28, 28 inch rims on my Mercedes. <laughs> I need, I need some speakers. So when I pray, my, 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 my worship music is banging down 4, 5 Street, but, but, but I just get to sit back on it. Are y'all hearing me? It says it will be done for you. So I get to say what I want and then I get to sit back 
real cute and say, oh, no, no, I want this. This is the color I want it in it. Yeah, no, I want that contract. I want to go stop, talk to Apple Incorporated. I want to go to that multi-billion dollar company. It says, and it will be done for you. I, I want to I wanna be a sought after speaker, God. I want to be one that can really go in the spirit, God, and prophesy to the future of a thing. I want to be the one that goes in and pull people from the grave and it will be done for you because you remain in me and my words remain in you. And verse eight says, because I'm getting ready to pray, y'all. Verse eight says, this is my father's glory. This is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. I just I just want people to look at you and I just want them to see through deed and in action that you are my disciple that you are a follower of Christ. And guess what? Because you are a, a, a one who follows the way, you are a follower of Jesus the Christ and you're bearing much fruit, you're going to be able to bring in other people. This is this is evangelism 101. You're going to be able to bring other people in because they're going to know that you are a follower of the way, that you are a follower of Jesus Christ, that you're my disciple and you bear much fruit, they're going to want to bear much fruit. But, but you got a toy, toy, come on, Sherry, but you got to remain in me. Come on, Chisa, my word has to remain in you. Come on, Kira, because God wants to give you whatever you wish. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you now for what you're doing even in our lives on this morning and even in this new year, God, this Nissan year. I thank you, God, that this is indeed the year where heaven is meeting earth, God. Everything that we have prayed into for ourselves, for our business, for our family, God, everything that we have prayed into that has already reached into the heavenlies, we pull it down to meet earth. I declare and decree that anything that's held up in the second heaven, that it shall come down now, that we will have the ability to raise our arms and pull that thing down in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that even this is the time, God, that you're beginning to give us our wishes, uh, that you're beginning to give us our hopes, uh, our desires in the name of Jesus. God, we know uh, that we can do nothing, not a thing. We won't be no worthy uh, without you in the name of Jesus. Let your anointing flow in this place. Let your anointing flow to your people. Uh, God, we thank you uh, that we do this to the glory of God. We do this, Father, and that it's your desire for us to bear fruit. Uh, I thank you, God, uh, that we're going to remain steadfast, unmovable, always abounding uh, in the works of the Lord, knowing uh, that our labor for you is not in vain. I thank you, God, that we shall remain, will stay put, God, uh, will be planted and positioned in you uh, until you release the thing uh, that we are desiring in our hearts uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I thank you, God, uh, that even your words remain in us, the Bible, God, uh, that we will press in the more, that we will read the more, that we will process with you the more, God, that we will sit and sup with you the more, God, so that your word remains in us. Uh, and God, I thank Thank you now that you give us the ability you give us the open door father to ask of you whatever we wish God that's that thing that is that we think won't happen that's the thing that we can't do by ourselves I thank you God that whatever we wish uh, that it will be done for us, God, uh, that we can sit down and relax into it a little bit, God, uh, that we're not going to have to be be in a pressure point or a pressure cooker for it, God, but you're going to make it smooth and easy. You're going to make it smooth and easy, God. We thank you. And we say that it is our season now that we are we are in our season now that we are bearing much fruit because we allow you to prune us we allow you to cut away so that we can bring forth so that we can birth out this rich everlasting fruit that will bring us 
hallelujah, to a space of domination, subduing, multiplying, and being fruitful. And so we say this is so in Jesus' name, and it shall not be otherwise. Thank you, O oh God. We bless you, Father. We honor you and we praise you for what you have already done. He's already done it, people of God. Come on. Come on. Let's tell him thank you. Thank you, oh God. He's already done it for us. It's a condition to this thing. We've got to remain in him and his word has got to remain in us. In Jesus' name. Listen, I thank you all for joining me as normal. I wanted to let you know that I'm going to Mexico in May. Listen, hashtag Mexico in May. And if you want to um, sow a seed into my trip to help with this plane ticket, if you want to sow a seed in, I, I want you to um, just go to my cash app. You all know I'm not on here for seeds because I work. <laughs> and I work, if you're following me on Facebook, you know I work very hard <laughs> to, to, to get what I have to do, what I need to do, okay, to, to leave a legacy for my children. But if you feel in your heart that the Lord is pushing you to say, listen, I'm going to support Prophetess Toy. I'm going to support her. She's good ground. I'm going to support Toyenda Lachey Ministries and what she's trying to do in the earth realm. I want you to um, just go, you know, drop a few dollars uh, in that cash at my plane ticket. It's going to be five forty eight. And I really need to get that today. Whew, I'm going to get it today. But anyway, my plane ticket. It's $548, and I don't quite know what the Airbnb is going to be. I'm waiting for those numbers. But I'm going to Mexico in May. Hashtag, y'all put that in the chat. Hashtag Mexico in May. I'm going to Mexico in May. Uh, for missions to do ministry. And so I'm really excited about it. I want you to continue to pray the hedge of protection around uh, everybody who's going. Continue to pray that the Lord covers us like a force field, that uh, uh, our army angels are out protecting us, but we got to do the work. So we're going to do missions. But listen, if you want to partner with me and so into what we're doing, thank you, Kiara. Hashtag in May. Thank you, uh, Facebook user ministry in Mexico. Yes, yes. I want you to um, send um, a love seat to Toyenda Smith. That's my cash app, T-O-Y-I-N-D-A. S-M-I-T-H, that's my cash app, uh, or my Zelle, which is Toyenda Lachey, T-O-Y-I-N-D-A, L-A-S-H-E-A at gmail.com. So I want you to, you know, if you feel up to it, go ahead on and do it. Hey, Coach Ivy, thank you so much for joining. Yes, your name didn't pop up. Hey, 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 thank you so much for joining. So that's what's going on with that. The other two things that are happening is number number um one of the two, right? So number one, Mexico in May. Number two, y'all, my birthday is this month. I'm going to be 46. Yes, I'm going to be 46. Yes. So I'm going to be 46 actually on April 13th. <clears throat> I'm going to be 46 on April 13th, but I celebrate my birthday all month long. Hashtag all month long. So I celebrate my birthday all month long, and I'm so excited. I've been having some great celebrations. I opened up the month going to the um, prophetic gathering in uh in North Carolina with my mentor, Apostle Pat Brown. I was like, this thing is fire. Uh, it was really about the contextual uh, leader. And it was all about how kingdom citizens, we are, we are strategists in the kingdom. It was a phenomenal, phenomenal conference. And then um, the next week, I'm in Alabama, Huntsville, Alabama, at the Scale Conference with Michelle the Johnson. Let me tell you, my natural business is has already been 10 x you hear me? It's already been 10x. So I'm super excited about that. But what I wanted to share is because it's my birthday and I celebrate all month long, I am having a dominate your confidence, dine and dive. And this is um, taken from my book. I'm going to show you my book. 
It's taken from my book, The Handbook to Dominate Your Confidence Using Four Practical Steps. So what we're going to do is we are going to have an intimate time with 20 later ladies. I think I have 19 tickets left. So y'all, people are last minute, save me a ticket. Did no, 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 no. Get your ticket because I don't want to save tickets. I want you to buy your ticket, make a commitment to the event. Make a commitment, people, to the event and, um, you know, go on and, and book your ticket now with with me. I'm going to put the link in the chat, but it is on Friday, April 22nd. And we're going to go from 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. I am having a catered dinner come in. So it's going to be really, really nice. Of course, we'll have all the other birthday stuff that you normally have. You know, I give presents on my birthday. I give presents. So I'll be doing that as well. But, but, but most importantly, I am going to be teaching and educating on and imparting on how you are going to dominate your confidence moving forward. And we're going to deal with four areas, your vantage, how you see yourself, because that's a problem. We keep second guessing ourselves and we got the whole kingdom back in us. So you're second guessing yourself and the kingdom of God, the hand of God, his right hand is pushing you forward. So we're going to deal with that mindset. We're going to deal with that. And then from there, once the mindset is intact, once you're operating with the mind of Christ, and I'm still business, but once you're operating as a kingdom citizen, we're going to now deal with your voice because, because now I know who I am, whose I am, and what I'm called to do, who I serve. Once I know those things, now I got to use my sound to solve a problem. And when your sound solves a problem, that's when you see those coins. You're going to see coins when your sound solves a problem. But we got to get you past how you think about yourself to the point where you got to use your voice. Where you got to use your voice. So that's the that's the voice part of it. And then now that you're using your voice, we're then going to tap into your visibility, how you show up on the scene. So now you've in, in created a level of influence with your voice and now you have to go into atmospheres carrying with you command presence. You, you, can't, you can't be delivered from your thinking and then delivered from not using your voice. And then you can't go into an environment and sit in the back of the room. You, you can't go into an environment and not bring with you poise and command presence. So I'm going to deal with that. And after that, not, now that people calling you for everything, because you didn't dealt with your vantage, you didn't dealt with your voice, you didn't dealt with your visibility. Now people calling you for everything. Oh, oh, Coach Ivy, can you come speak here? Kiara, can you come minister here? Sherry, can you can you speak here? Can you do this? Now that that's all settled and you get to that place, you got to know how to use your vigor, your energy. You got to know where to place that. You got to know when to say no. So I'm going to deal with those four V's for my birthday celebration. That's the thing that brings me birthday joy is when I can impart into you. And when you take what I shared with you and you do the work, you execute. All right. So listen, God bless you all. Oh, oh, oh. That third thing was that I am hosting a pastor's and senior leaders and ministry leaders coaching skills course. So what I'm trying to do there in the coaching skills course, come on y'all, in the coaching skills course is I'm wanting to help ministry leaders to be able to last a little longer because what happens is um, sometimes ministry leaders uh, uh, are overwhelmed because of the uh, weight of the congregation and the people that they're carrying. And we don't want them to carry us. We want Want them to coach us. We don't need our leaders in ministry to carry us. We want them to coach us to our best versions. Because when they coach you to your best version, then you bring your best version in the ministry. That's when you can serve well on a leadership team. That's when the church anniversary is flawless. That's when your evangelistic movement is bringing, it's converting individuals to come into Christ. 
So we're going to deal with that on April 23rd. That's a Saturday morning. So I'm going to drop uh, those links in the chat. Don't forget, I'm going to hashtag Mexico in May. I need your prayers and your purse to, to help with this. Uh, if I'm if I have been uh, helping any way, I would love for you to um, so just sow into me, sow into this ministry. It's going to be a blessing. Uh, so you can sow with Toyinda Smith. Uh, that's Cash App, T-O-Y-I-N-D-A Smith. And then Zale is uh, Toyinda Lachey, L-A-S-H-E-A, T-O-Y-I-N-D-A, L-A-S-H-E-A at gmail.com. And just put in the comments, uh, hashtag Mexico in May, Mexico in May, so that I know that you sold into that um, that event. So listen, God bless you. May you remain in the Lord and may you may his words remain in you so that you can ask him whatever you wish and that thing will be done for you. In Jesus name. Amen. I see y'all later. I got a coaching. Um, I got a coaching meeting that I got to get ready uh, for. I see y'all later. Mexico in May. Yes, Mexico in May. All month long. I'm celebrating all month long. Seed song. Thank you so much. I think that's Coach Ivy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Tammy, God bless you. Kiera, God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you, Chisa. God bless you, Sherry. God bless you, Carolyn. God bless you, Zolisha. God bless you, Dr. Henley. God bless you all. Thank you so much for joining. All right. I'll see y'all next time. We'll be back on next Monday at 10 a.m. And then we'll also be on the second and fourth uh, Sundays for prophetic intercession. And if you didn't catch um, yet last night or Sunday, the uh, 10th, April 10th, prophetic intercession, go into it because I prayed over the parents. I prayed over businesses and I prayed over our peace. All right. See you later.